Hey, how's she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Great Peace Workshop. Uh, we've got another little uh, project to do for my compressor. Uh, I'm uh, in the process of trying to pipe up my new compressor so I can have air distribution through the whole shop. And one of the things I wanted to do was make it easier to drain the tank. Every Monday now I drain my tank. <laughs> no more water and condensation in my tank, that's for sure. But every Monday I drain the tank. Uh, but what I want to do, the tank, the drain is way down under the tank. What I'd like to do is just put a little hose on it, you know, a foot and a half long or something. Just so that it comes out the side so it's easier to get at and, uh, and, and drain the tank. So that's what we're up to today. We're going to put a tank drain extension on my compressor. Okay, I want to get access to the drain on the tank and that's of course at the bottom where it should be. So I'm just going to rig a, a piece of rope on this handle up here in the beam where I have my hook. Just going to pass the rope through a pulley that I rigged to that. Just put a couple of hitches on it there and that will hold it. And now I should be able to get a better access to underneath the tank. Alright, now that we have the tank raised up somewhat, I can see my drain valve under here. So what I'd like to do is bring that drain valve out to the side so it's easier to get at. So I'm going to get a wrench and take that out. Okay, I think I have enough parts here to do what I want to do. Uh, I'm going to start off, I'm going to uh, replace this uh, shutoff valve with this quarter inch elbow. So I'm going to just uh, put some Teflon tape on this. Okay, so then that's going to thread into the tank. Now I'm going to put some Teflon tape on one of these barb connectors. I decided I would go with all barb connectors because it was just easier to figure out uh, the parts I needed instead of like do I need a male pipe thread or a female pipe thread to accommodate. I just went with all these barbs and they're male thread barbs so it should work. So now this goes in here. Okay, so now I need uh, some hose, and I'm going to put about this much hose on it, that's, I don't know, 30 inches of hose, just so that I have it, you know, I can get it up alongside of the compressor. Anyway, this is going to go on there, but before I put that on there, I want to thread this into the tank, so I'm not going to do that just yet, but I am going to put this fitting on here. And I'm going to put a hose clamp on that. That should hold that. Now a little bit of Teflon tape on here. And then I have what's called, well I call it a gender changer. It's just a coupling with two female threads. So I'm going to put this on here. Then I'm going to put some uh, Teflon tape on this, the drain valve itself. And then I'll thread the drain valve in here. That ought to do it. And then I'll put my hose clamp on here. And then I'm going to go back to the compressor. I'm going to thread this in the drain, put my hose on the end of it, put my gear clamp on it, I should be done. So this is to thread in here. And then I'll take my 
wrench here and tighten her up. And that should be pretty good there. And then put this hose on here. And now, if I can take the natural kink of the hose so that this drain valve can sit up there, that might not be too bad. And then I'll put my gear clamp in here. Now before I put my compressor back and test this little modification I made, I just want to show you something else. I was in the shop here the other day and it was pretty cold in the shop. I had the heater going but the shop too wasn't warmed up. It was like, I don't know, minus five, something like that. Anyway, so I turned on my compressor and the circuit breaker tripped. Uh oh, what's going on here? I thought, don't tell me, I finally thought I had myself a good compressor and it's tripping the circuit breaker. But what I come to find out was the oil in the case, in the crank here, uh, it's still the break-in oil, it's pretty thick. And it was too thick, in fact, for the motor to run it. And it tripped the breaker. So what I had was, a long time ago I bought one of these magnetic oil pan heaters. I bought it for my tractor. It's uh, 200 watt, not, a, not like a lot of heat in it. But anyway, I took that, stuck it on the side of my crank, plugged it in, 40 minutes later, started up no problem. So, I had to put an oil heater on my compressor. <laughs> but it worked. Okay, there, it's back in its place. Uh, Whenever it comes time to drain, I'll just take this whip down, open her up, pop off a little steam, hang her back up there. I think that's going to work good out of the way. I'm going to turn this on now and see if it will pump up. Okay, so it's come up to pressure and shut off, and now I'm pretending it's Monday morning. And it says drain the tank every Monday. Oh, I better drain it. So I take my whip and crack the valve. No condensation. Way to go. <laughs> and it's just as simple as that. That's a lot better than before. I used to have to come in here and get down like this. And reach under here and get at the valve and it would blow in my hand. Ergonomically it was a disaster. This is sweet. Okay that was a quick little job of adding that extension on the tank drain. So now I can get at that right easy and uh, I've been coming out religiously every Monday to drain my tank because I don't want any more condensation in it. But it's, it was really a pain to get down. I almost had to lay down on my back to get under there to open up the drain. And it was opening up right into my hand and I didn't like that. But now with this extension on there, it's going to be nice. And, you know, uh, in the video that I linked below about installing my, uh, my regulator and filter and shut off and piping down to the hose reel, I talked about you shouldn't leave the air on your hose all the time because it, it can cause blisters. And you saw on my orange hybrid hose, the garbage that it is, it was it was deteriorating very fast so you shouldn't leave air on your hose and uh, the way I have this done now I can just unplug my hose reel or the whole system for that matter and not have the system charged up so that's going to work good I uh, won't be I won't have to keep air on my hose anymore but uh, I installed this drain with 30 inches of hose and guess what there's air on it all the time <laughs> So I'm going to have to watch this hose to make sure that it doesn't deteriorate, doesn't start forming bubbles. And if it does, maybe I'll have to put a maybe an 8 or 10 inch length of pipe on the, the drain instead of the hose just so that it sticks out the side, stub it out a little bit, put the drain valve back on it, it should be alright. 
But anyway, I think this is going to be good. Certainly a lot easier for draining condensation off your tank. And hey, if you're watching this video and if you have a compressor and if you have struggled with condensation in your tank and it's hard to get out to drain, maybe this little modification give you some ideas and some inspiration how you can make your tank easier to drain. And that's what it's all about, making things easier, right? So thanks for watching. I appreciate the time you take to watch my videos. And if you take a little bit extra time and comment, that's even nicer. And hey, if you're new to the channel, thanks a lot for dropping by. And I hope you leave some comments too. Don't forget everyone, thumbs up me. Have a great week. Stay safe. And we'll talk to you soon.